All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a Fisher knife in this pocket right over here. Would you look at this? It's a launch. It's a full size launch. This is a very cool one, guys. And here, actually, I got uh, a little brother right over here so I can show you this fella. And uh, let me just do this thing right. Uh, what else can I show you? Um, let me show you a big boy. So you get like Glenara Ovin in the uh, picture and another big boy because we're talking about big knives. That's uh, Shiro God of Tetra. And I think uh, I thought it would match the mix. And let me just show you a couple of classic you might be more familiar with. And uh, that's the small 21 and large 21 Sebenza by Chris Riv knives. Anyways, guys, we are here to check out this uh, bad boy right over here. Very, very cool build uh, we have uh, on the table. By the way, guys, check out fablades.com and uh, at Fablades on Instagram. See what is going on there. You can also let me know in the comments down below what is going on here. Here is going on something pretty nice. With uh, 9 centimeters for the blade and 11 and a half for the handle, totals up to 20 and a half centimeters. And uh, with the e, like 4 millimeters uh, stock thickness and yeah, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 behind the edge, we got uh, here something pretty cool. It's a full size knife, it's a full custom knife. It is a titanium frame lock with the blackened titanium in a way that is fantastic. Love this finish, I love the satin flats. The back spacer is uh, crazy. So you see the Fisher Bros, maybe there's a, right over here. There you go. Uh, signature on the inside of this pretty cool custom-made uh, backspacer screwed in with Chicago screws you get a copper look at that look at the, look at the details on the pivot collar and on the inlay at the center of the pivot both sides of course so pretty pretty neat indeed uh, build right over here uh like the how flush is this point is just crazy titanium satin tip up carry only pocket clip hidden hardware perfectly centered blade it is a flipper um there's no studs like uh, for example in this uh, small launch uh, with uh, you know you have multiple multiple uh, deployment method here you just get uh, your holes uh, um, you get your flipper tab you do not get any thumb stud you do not get uh, any jimping going on over here but what you get is like a nice hollow grind uh, primary bevel, hollow grind, swedge, which is fantastic, nice Warncliff blade, uh, all belly right over here, finger choil, sharpening choil as well. Guys, this thing is dialed. Um, the clip is not reversible, of course. I love how the cut out for the ex, uh, like the, for the lock bar is done, kind of like in a Lee Williams way, I like this radiator kind of thing. I love it. It's very, very well uh, executed. I love this dual tone finish of the scales. It's pretty, pretty cool. There's not going to be any disassembled video uh, because I don't have, I do not have the tools to take it apart. But uh, I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward. You remove this and the three Chicago screws, and you're done. You take it apart, you lube it, you clean it, and look at the action, guys. Very soft, very smooth. Uh, I have no information on the blade uh, steel. So if you have any, leave me a comment down below. I I, I don't know. I think it's S90V, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's, uh, it, it's just a gorgeous blade, actually. L let's see. Four millimeters. Uh, so it's thinner than the mini and 0.6 behind the edge for this hollow grind blade there's no stainless steel lock face insert but there's no lock stick 
So geometry is pretty dialed, like it's dialed the detent, like the sound also is dialed. Something that I'm not a fan of is this little thing that shows when the blade is deployed, but doesn't show, I mean, when it's deploying, not when it's closed, not when it's open. And I like that, but like this, I don't know. It's just something that, I mean, I know it's there by design, but uh, it's just, I don't know, something that annoyed me <laughs> for, for what it's worth. I mean, it's just silly, I know, but it's just like that. What I like actually is the fact that you see the blade through the hole. So that's, that's pretty neat right there. Also, the chamfers of the holes, uh, they show the raw titanium, which adds a little bit of contrast, and I like it. The finish is uh, spectacular. Check out this pivot up close. It's very nice indeed, guys. The sound also this guy makes, very quiet when you open it, and beautifully done when you close it. So good, the blade is heavy. And uh, speaking about heavy, Let's measure the weight of this guy. Yeah, 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 guys. Yeah, we're gonna be 6.23 ounces because it's a chunky boy. Look at that. There's no internal skeletonization going on. You have a full weight knife, but it means that this is solid, large finger groove. You have a hand groove, basically, and a thumb uh, ramp kind of deal with this harpoon going on. Perfect spot for your thumb. Very, very good indeed. The action is spectacular, by the way. I love the fact that the blade is sterile looking on both sides. There is nothing going on. Uh, I really like how it's put together, easy to deploy. It's not so easy to disengage because you see there's not much real estate here, but this protrudes a little bit. So you, like this, you can slide, you can slip a little bit, but like that. It's just gonna work. In the hand feels great. There's no hot spots unless like you just squeeze a lot strong, uh, stronger and maybe from there something might arise. But uh, beside that, it's very feeling very good in the hand. Indeed, uh, this is an expensive knife. It's a full custom knife. Uh, it's a launch. It's a frame lock titanium with custom hardware. It's very well made. Fit and finish is spot on. I like the sound that it makes and I really like the design as well. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.